Hey guys, uh, right here on your, oh, I guess I got lucky, we got the red light. Right here, this building on the right of the screen is the world famous Laugh Factory. And uh, I'm going to be giving you guys a little tour, just a drive through uh, the Sunset Strip. And don't take me wrong, the Sunset Strip is just a little piece of road, a very famous uh, piece of Sunset. It's not a strip bar. A lot of people might think that it is, but it's not. <laughs> it's a strip of the Sunset Sunset Boulevard, I think, or Sunset Road, I don't know what it's called exactly, but a lot of the famous uh, nightclubs and, you know, a lot of uh, famous hotels, restaurants are just on this strip of Sunset. It's very famous. Nightlife here is very lively. Today is the 31st of December, so I'm pretty sure that tonight, it's going to be happening. I'm not going to be here because I'm going to be with my family. That's the reason why I'm in California right now. To spend New Year's Eve with them. I believe that right here... Um, well, I don't know exactly where it's at. Probably further, a little bit further up. Was the very first uh, Saddleback Ranch which is a restaurant with a bar and they have a mechanical bull <laughs> and it's funny it's funny sometimes it's just uh you know nice oh this is it right here on the, on the right you know a lot of people sitting outside in the patio with the umbrella heaters and stuff like that it's nice a lot of times it's just fun to come and have a drink and watch the drunk ladies get on the bull Also, further up, uh, there, I think there's the that uh, Nike of the Roxy. Oh, and right here on the on the right, the Comedy Store, another uh, comedy club. The House of Blues over here on the left. Uh, yeah, I think the Roxy is over here. And then I don't know if anybody saw that movie uh, Night at the Roxbury. The Roxbury is over here, and I think back then when they filmed it, there was another club that was very, very famous at that time called uh, Billboard Live. Then they changed the name of it to the Key Club, and then I don't know what it is right now. I haven't been to this part of town in a few years now, so we'll see. Uh, this other place here is very famous too, Mel's Drive-In. They've been out here for decades. Now, this is more like a restaurant -y area, a bunch of places to eat on both sides of the road. And a bunch of cuties walking the streets too. Back in the 90s, when I was a teenager, uh, this I used to come out and hang out on this side of town. I, I loved it. The only thing, if you did have a crappy car <laughs> and, uh, and you were bald-headed, you would get pulled over by the police like in no time. But I guess they're 
a little bit more lenient on that now since uh, bald heads are becoming more of a trend fashion statement than uh, because back then a bald head was associated with a gang member but I guess not anymore so uh, I don't know if they still pull you over for driving a crappy car but hey I'm driving my 82 735 and they haven't pulled me over yet all right here at the corner whiskey a go go another famous uh, bar the hustler store here on the left there is that big circle on your screen just on top of the traffic signal that's the R for the Roxy it's a pretty cool bar I guess haven't been there in a couple decades probably and there's people outside I guess waiting for them to open or something And this one here, with the little awning or something, oh, it's still called the Key Club. Still called the Key Club. Like I said, back then it was called the Billboard Live. And pretty much we're reach the end of the Sunset Strip once you reach over here on your left hand side I don't know if you saw it or not there's a Jaguar Land Rover uh, dealership once you go past that then you go into Beverly Hills and and that's pretty much the end of it I'm just gonna keep it rolling so you guys can see how close it is oh see right there Beverly Hills on the right the big sign uh, just gonna keep it rolling because it's only a, a few blocks away uh, Rodeo Drive intersects with Sunset and I'm just gonna take a left drive through the shops and right at the end of the street where Rodeo dead ends into Wiltshire I think that's uh, the Beverly Wiltshire Hotel I don't know what it's called today, but back then it was called the Regent. That's, uh, I think I've mentioned it in a couple other videos that I have up here on YouTube. That's the hotel where they filmed uh, Pretty Woman. So I'm just going to keep it rolling and let you guys come along on the ride. I'm thinking probably once we go a couple of uh, curves up here you're gonna see a pink building on the right hand side which is going to be the Beverly Hills Hotel that's where uh, Elizabeth Taylor spent uh, her last years she was a resident there <laughs> so uh, I guess she lived there I guess when you have some so much money, why even bother buying a house if you could stay at a hotel? So right now we're going west on Sunset in Beverly Hills, a few blocks away from turning left onto Rodeo Drive. And I really apologize if there's a lot of glare. I'm really not handling the camera. I just put it on the dashboard and it's doing its own thing. I hope it's not too bad.
this is it. Right there on your right, that is the Beverly Hills Hotel, pink and green. And I'm just waiting to turn left. What are you doing, dude? Come on. Damn, people sleep at the lights here. Uh, time to lower the windows. Even though it's December in LA, it's freaking hot out here. Oh, kind of gets chilly at night, but during the daytime it's a little hot. Come on, lady. You're in Beverly Hills, but respect the traffic laws. It's my turn to go. Oh yeah, and I was saying, it's, it's hot out here. Um, I turned off the uh, the air conditioner on this thing because uh, my uh, blower is making a weird noise, so it's kind of annoying. And as you can see, Beverly Hills, palm trees all over the place, beautiful houses left and right. I don't know, famous people, rich people, whatever you want to call it. Maybe even some of the shots of sunset live around here. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, I guess. If you're from out of town and you don't know, I just noticed right now. You turn at the Beverly Hills Hotel, you come to that fork and you take your second left. And uh, it's not even called Rodeo Drive up there. It's called Beverly. I, I didn't know. I just know it because uh, I'm not from this town, but I'm from L.A. I drove my life in LA all my life so now this is Rodeo Drive this video is kind of getting a little bit long but uh, you know, skip through the parts you don't like. Ah, what the hell, you know what guys? I'm going to turn on the air conditioner. It's too freaking hot out here. There we go. Hope is not a lot of wind noise or bothering you too much. to make a turn because I I did make a mistake I barely noticed that uh, I was not on Rodeo <laughs> I don't know so many years that I haven't been through here I noticed I was on Beverly and I was thinking it was Rodeo but it wasn't uh -huh. 
So now this is Rodeo. And for those of you that don't know or for those of you that uh, would like to come to Beverly Hills, come on Father's Day. On Father's Day every single year they have a car show here on Rodeo Drive. They shut down the street and there's a bunch of cars for all types of car enthusiasts. So if you're, ha if you're planning a trip out to LA, come on Father's Day and then come to the Father's Day car show on Rodeo. Ah, like I said, that damn blower on the AC just makes too, no too much noise. Hey, hey, hey. Quiet. No wonder, shoot, Rodell has more traffic than Beverly. Yeah, Beverly was flowing nice and easy, and now that I'm on, on Rodell, I'm stuck already. But here, I'm going to get to the end of the street, and as I get ready to make a left onto Wilshire, the building you're going to see at the end of the street, that is the, the hotel where... Uh, where that uh, pretty woman was filmed. Yeah, I, mean, I guess I'm gonna move because too, I right, too much traffic. <laughs> Here in Beverly Hills, the crowd walking the street is mostly tourists. So that's pretty much why all the traffic, tourists, tourists, tourists. Ay, ay, ay. Imagine me that I was a truck driver here in LA for almost 15 years. I started driving a small truck, but then I started driving 18 wheelers. And it's no fun. It's no fun driving a big truck in LA. But you get used to it. So traffic really does not bother me at all. Sometimes I even enjoy it. All right. So this uh, building here with the purple and white awnings that is the Regent Hotel or whatever it's called now that's the place alright guys and I guess I'm gonna call it quits now and thank you for watching the video I hope you skipped the parts you didn't like and uh, we'll see you next time Happy New Year again